In this video I'm going to talk about the HC21 Wi-Fi module. It's uh, also called Simple Wi-Fi. These are 10 to $15 on eBay. Plain and simple, it is a Wi-Fi port server. You can run it in several different modes. Ad hoc, where these modules would connect to get together. Or it can be an access point, so you actually from your laptop or your phone um, you can discover this little Wi-Fi access point or hotspot connect to it and go through it to out this serial port or you can set this up so that it joins your Wi-Fi network at home same thing you access the IP address and port to go out the serial port and of course you can use this little module with anything doesn't have to be an Arduino, it could be a Raspberry, a BeagleBone, industrial applications. In fact, I happen to have an industrial port server here. Um, Digi and Lantronics make these and they're usually around $500 to $1,000. And this is the same concept, this is a wired one, but they do have wireless. So you access this device using an IP address and a port and then you go out serially to talk to a serial device. So it's a virtual serial port that you can put wherever, on the hill, in the basement, in, in the server room. So this module is not for if you, say, want to have a web page running on your Arduino. If you want a web page, basically you're going to have to use the Arduino's memory and load a really big, massive sketch in there. And the Arduino is not really, uh, doesn't have a lot of power to do that anyway. The nice thing about this is the code in your Arduino only has to know how to communicate using serial. And then this guy handles all of the massive overhead of uh, handling Wi-Fi and negotiating communications. It's a drop-in replacement for something like this. So this is an RS-232 shield. It uses those two pins for transmit and receive and then you can plug this into a serial port on your computer to communicate to your Arduino. Another, it's a drop, also a drop-in replacement for XP. Only the difference is XP's are about 30 or 40 dollars and you have to have two of them so that's um, 60 or 80 dollars in, um, in order to communicate. So same idea here, we're just using transmit and receive pins 1 and 0 to uh, communicate serial data to the Arduino. Now you can load the Arduino to communicate whatever protocol you like. Um, I like Modbus, so I usually throw a Modbus protocol on here. So here's the module. So these little guys here are actually pins, and you can uh, try to connect to them. Um, but for the most part, you don't need to do that. We just need these four on the end, so I'm going to solder a header pin on there. So we've got ground, transmit, receive, and voltage, which has to be regulated 3.3 volts. Then on this other side we've got a reset, link, CTS and RTS, which is a clear to send and ready to send, which um, for simplex transmit and receive is really all you have to have. Alright, so we're going to do ground. Ground in 3.3 volts from a power supply of your choice. This thing pulls 200 milliamps, so you probably aren't going to get by with using the 3.3 volt uh, supply off of an Arduino. It pulls too much current. So now we're ready to configure it um, since we've powered it up. It has made itself a Wi Fi hotspot. 
actually the proper term would be that it made itself into an access point so here it is it's a simple Wi-Fi so I go ahead and connect to it go ahead and open up a command prompt here just type in CMD into search so then all you have to do is type in IP config and this is to see what our IP address is. If we go up, we'll see that we're on a network and our IP address is 192.168.22. The gateway is 192.168.21 and that's the gateway is going to be the HC21. 192.168.2.1 All right, the user is admin. Password is 123456. So I've got documentation on my website and programs that you can use to configure this module. Um, honestly, right out of the box, we don't have to do anything if you want to just, say, connect your phone to it. If you had a, some kind of app on your phone that could connect and you wanted it to connect to that Wi-Fi hotspot. But what I want it to do is I want the module to not be an access point. I want it to be a station. Ad hoc is where they can actually kind of create, uh, connect to each other. So anyway, station is what I want. And instead of this SSID being that, you need to type in the SSID that you want it to connect to. And then you set up the encryption you want. And then you actually type in the password. Not the password you're going to connect to this with, but what password this module connects to your Wi-Fi network with. I'm going to start by going to the advanced settings. I'm going to put in a static IP address. This isn't what my network is. And my gateway is... So I'm going to go ahead and update that. For some reason, it, 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 it lets me keep editing um, until you reboot, so it didn't change the IP address yet. And then on the basic settings, usually everything I do, you know, my Arduinos will be 9600, 8901, so I'm going to change that serial port baud rate. And this is port 800. I'm going to verify everything else, but I'm going to go over here put in this stuff. This is the uh, SS, SSID of my uh, Wi-Fi router here in the shop. It's going to be infra encryption I do and then I'm not going to show you my password here. I'm going to come over here and cycle power on this guy. Now that um, access point is gone, but I'm back on my regular network. And there it is. You could have, of course, you could of course change the password if you want. And then, as an example of what you can do. I have an Arduino with a Modbus library, and all I got to do is run transmit and receive. This one is transmit, so it needs to go to receive. This is receive, so it goes to transmit. After a lot of fiddling, I also realized that since this power supply is completely isolated from this power supply, you also need a ground. So I'm getting a ground here. I'm just plugging it in right alongside the other ground here so the grounds are biased together.
All right, so this isn't the highest quality demo I've ever done, but this is an example of a test client. And my laptop is using Modbus TCP to request the uh, Modbus registers out of the Arduino. So I can write to the output. We're going to turn these on. Then the input, so that's off. It's going to come on. Here we go. I'll just turn those on. And then our analog values. I'm just going to reach down, look at the first one, 287. I'm going to crank it up. Alright, I'm going to crank that second one up. 